Wait. Wait. Can you get Leaky and bring him another room? No. Come on, Leaky. What is it? Sorry about that. Levi Jonathan. I don't know if he lives here. Who are you? I'm with the Democratic Party of Polk County. Just wanted to remind him that the election is until 7 p.m. today. But if he doesn't live here anymore, I'll just mark him as moved. Do you know if he still lives here? Yeah. Who's huh? who's on the ballot? Uh, we got Gillum for governor. Uh, we got um, Nelson for senate. We got Karen. I never get her name right. She's for the county commissioner. And yeah. uh, I usually spread these ballot measures around. Basically, the, today's, um, this year's ballot is pretty complicated to read. It has a whole lot of measures, really hard to read. The most important one is the number four, giving ex felons the right to vote. Number, I forget, the nine is banning offshore drilling. These are just our recommendations. If you feel like you have the time to vote, it's the Winter Haven Senior Center, uh, like three blocks away from the Winter Haven yeah, Hospital. Really yeah, and if you make it there before 7 p.m., um, as long as you, I don't know how big the lines are. Are you confident? Boa. In the party? <sighs> Gotta do something. <laughs> Gillum is progressive. Nelson is useless, but, um, you know. How long has the two-party system been functioning? Uh, well, I'd say after the DNC, after Clinton, got at it with uh, getting in bed with the banksters. That's when it really started going down the hill. But then it was Reagan who got at the unions because he gave amnesty to like three million undocumented immigrants. They destroyed the unions. Once he destroyed the unions, democratic participation goes down. The wages go down by like four or five thousand dollars on average. It was like, it was, you know, I'd say 20, 30 years hasn't been working well, but, you no, know, but as long how as How long have the two, has the two-party system been functioning initially? <clears throat> I'd say before the 80s it was okay. It wasn't as charged. Maybe before the 90s even. The Dems were in charge pretty much from 1930s until like the 80s, and then they were they lost Congress for a couple of a couple of cycles, 48 and 60 something. But um, basically, it has got, comes down to who's in bed with which corporations. You know, Republicans are with those. But there's a Congress. There's a Congressional Progressive Caucus in the House. It's 70 Dems. They don't take any money from super PACs or corporations. It's the largest caucus in the House. Nobody even talks about them. Seventy Dems in the House don't take any PAC money. Senate, eh, you know, a bit flaky. But there is a difference between the two parties. And, you know, you got to pick the one that's going to, that's not just going to raise the, uh, you know, give tax, tax cuts to the wealthy and poison the environment and voucherize and privatize everything. So, you know, that's the difference. So the... Democratic Party's not about privatization? No. It depends on what. <laughs> Don't let you know. They're not going to privatize. Those two um. parties have been opposing each other since the Constitution was drafted. <sighs> yes and no. Yes and no. There was the Whigs Party, and then they became the Republican Party, and then the Democratic. It was used to be the Democratic Party. Yeah, it was Republican. rebranded, but it was the same group. Yes and no, but Republicans have always been on the side of the left. Like they, they gave the, that cause they caused the Republican great Republican crash because they ran on a ticket in the 1920s more government and bus, more business and government less government and business was and then eight years later we have the depression and then Dems, the Dems are holding both chambers for 40 50 years and they'll you know until old generation dies off a new generation comes up but I, I dare you name me five policies passed by Republican Congress in the last 50 years that have benefited the middle class. I wouldn't be the one to support <laughs> the Republicans. Yeah. But what, what I was going to say was, did the Republicans lean on the side of wealth when either Martin King or Abraham Lincoln were uh, you know, supporters of them? Are you saying would Lincoln be supporting the Republican Party today? Is that what you're saying? No. When Lincoln was a Republican, mm -hmm. or either when him or Martin King, because those are two people I, I'm familiar with. Martin King. You mean Martin, Martin Luther, Luther King? King? Yeah. Uh, he was a Republican as well. Were they also... I don't know about side? that. I know. I mean, the old party, it's not, you know, it's not really relevant because 
Teddy Roosevelt he used to be a progressive Republican. He's the one who created all the national parks, and he was concerned about the environment and all that. He was a progressive Republican, and after that it was pretty much over. So, Same with Lincoln. Like, going that far back doesn't make that much of a difference. If you're talking about the, like, KKK membership, yeah, it was the Democrats up until the 50s. Because once Johnson signed the Equals Right Amendment in 1954, um, he was the last Democratic president elected with the majority of the white vote. It was all Republicans after that, because they really hate that civil rights crap that he signed. So, and then this Southern strategy was, let's bring all the, this, all the angry Democrats that were unhappy with the civil rights movement and the act and turn them Republican. So now we have the Republican South, Democratic North. Let me ask, what are, what are the issues that you would be most concerned about? Medicare for all. All right, so let's take an issue like Medicare. If the Democratic Party has the House, the Senate, and the administration, mm -hmm. let's say, how would that issue be changed? Well, they, they were close. They had, when they were originally, originally Obamacare had the public option in it. The public option means the private company is fine, they're still staying, but you have the option of buying into the public option meaning the greater pool of people are being covered. That would be run by the government with only 3% overhead expense as opposed to private insurance, which is 20%. That's how much they charge. It used to be 40% overhead, meaning all the administrative stuff that they charge. All the time you spend on the phone contesting the claims. It used to be 40, now it's 20. So under that, you would have a public option where you have a greater pool of people across the country, and if everybody chips in it's a little amount, you get more in return. Whereas with all the private insurance companies, it's like you have this pool over here, you have this pool of people over here, you have this pool. Of, so you have all these different pools of people, and that's why the cost is so high, because there's not enough of a set of people within the same pool to contribute to that. And that's what they had initially. They had the public option written in Obamacare. It took a year to pass because they just kept taking stuff out because Republicans, you know, they had so many congressional hearings. And it was Joe Lieberman, and he was the, the senator from Connecticut. He was a corporate dem. And in the health committee, he, he was the last deciding vote, and he killed the public option. Yeah, he was a corporate dem. They were one sh vote short, but he killed it back in, I think, 09. If that had passed, we would have had the public option by now, and we, were, we would be on our way to having Medicare fall. But again, it failed because of him, so now it has, everything has to be kind of So you're confident started. if the tables turn that this policy will go through? It's inevitable. It's inevitable. People are on both sides, one Medicare for all, both independents, Democrats, and Republicans. What would that look like? 3% you know? overhead, meaning for every dollar or whatever that you put into the system, there's only three cents that are taken out of the dollar that go into administering the actual program. You know, the people that type up the bills, the people that process, you know, claims from the hospital. Yeah, administration. Administration, whereas right now it's 20% at most. Used to be 40, now it's 20. So it just basically, that's why the costs are so high. You know, as opposed to going to the doctor and paying 300, you would be paying, I don't know, you wouldn't be paying anything actually because, you know, stuff would be Where's coming Where's the out other 97% go? It goes into the distributing towards people that need help. So you put in three, three cents as opposed to how much we pay now. For instance, I work, I pay 44 bucks at my job for insurance. I just did my teeth. Not all of them, and now I had to spend two thousand dollar copay, and another two thousand was covered, so it was split in two. So I have a decent insurance, and even with that, I had to spend two thousand bucks out of my pocket just to fix my dent. So it would fix it would fix a lot of issues. But I gotta go because it's like before, you know. It's actually pretty I dark. doubt. I think you're the last person I'm gonna see because I can. This is my point. You gotta try. If you, you know. Have, I've tried. You know, I do what I do. I do. I do active work, so mm -hmm. I have some equipment. And my wife helps me make documentary. You can check it out on YouTube. Yeah. We've got like 1,500 videos. Oh, yeah, what's the name? Ross Reaps, Ross Reaper. R E A P E R? Like Reaper yeah, Reaper? R E A P E R. Ross Reaper, I'll check it out. Yeah, I yeah. don't get many views. You'll find <laughs> out why pretty fast. I've been having issues actually with, with infiltration of the computer. So some of the best material I haven't been able to release yet. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but I'm always but, uh, working, so you'll see. I'll um, check it out. but. What, what, post maybe close I at can, seven. Maybe you can learn. Yeah, the mm -hmm. post close at seven. If you feel like you have the time, we're running out of time. But uh, so, Mr. Levi Johnson doesn't live here anymore. No way, we're gonna have to bother you again. Let's in two just years. keep that.
confidential. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Thanks I'll just put I'll just put that at home for now. But All uh, the thank blessed. you for the talk and uh, enjoy that. Yes. Sir. Thank you.